Hi guys, Blake Hernandez here, and I wanted to show you a super quick trick, or at least one of the tips that I use when I'm doing bracelets, um, <clears throat> but I was banding the ears, and I realized that people are always asking me how to do the little monkey braid that I do, so um, I do this on all of my poodles. If they have long ear hair, then I do this. It, it's surprising how quickly you can take down a dog in a freaking, in a seven, sorry, mailman's here. Oh, just kidding. We don't have any mail. Okay. So you can take your dog down in like a seven and then you put these bands in their ears and um, the owner thinks that they have a show dog. It's so funny. So um, first I take my bands and I put them right in my mouth. So now they're there for easy access. <laughs> um, this dog actually, it's just their second appointment with me. I set the pattern on them last time. It was only three weeks ago. So anyway, um, on the ear, you know, their ear is shaped like a triangle, right? So I take the front of their ear leather right here, and I just take a rat tail comb, something pointy, and about halfway across the width of the ear, I draw a point down towards the front of the ear leather. Okay. When I do that, you should have a nice clean part, just like this. Let's see if I can get you. All right. Then I hold up this chunk of hair straight away from the dog's head and draw the rat tail from the ear canal out to that point on the ear leather. Okay? Combing it out. Then I take a band from underneath and then I keep pulling the ponytail down. That way it wants to lay down. If you hold it out while you're doing it, it's going to want to stay out when you're done. So if you hold it down while you're doing it, it's going to want to lay down when you're done. So then I go halfway through this line. This is the part line. Halfway up. And then I go down and over towards the front of the ear leather again. So now I've got this chunk of hair with the first ponytail. And drawing from the ear canal out to that point. I part the hair and then comb it out. Get you a band from your mouth dispenser. Okay, and still pulling the ponytail down. Okay, so now all this hair that would normally get into the mouth can't. Okay? So I don't need to band any more of the ear. I just like to keep this ponytail separate. So I'm just going to follow this pony all the way down. Whoever the last groomer was, like, ripped a big mat, like, right out of the center of her head. So there's, like, a big, like, divot in the middle of her head. Ignore that. I'm ignoring it. You have to ignore it. Okay, so now the ears are banded. No, 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 stand up. <clears throat> but we have this bracelet right here. So you're going to do your bevels like you normally do bevels on the bottom. But a big problem that I see with people when they do their bracelets is that it looks like a nice pretty bevel on the bottom. And then you've got a nice little bracelet. And then they've got flat up here. Like they don't know what to do with up here. It looks like a toilet paper roll. And that's wrong. <laughs> so my trick to trying to avoid the toilet paper roll. In San Diego, look it up. It is so freaking dry right now. Gas or Cusco looks like he sprayed it up and there's no hairspray in him. It's just that much static. But anyway, I put a little bit of uh, Magic Blue Scissoring Spray in and I'm just gonna drag everything up. So once I drag everything up, I take a nice um, scissor with a pretty decent curve and I point that scissor towards the bone, creating a bevel on the top of your bracelet that matches the bracelet or the bevel on the top. Sorry, match the bevel on the top of your bracelet so that it's the same as the one on bottom. So I work around the dog because you know what's going to happen is if you, I'll show you what I normally see. What I normally see is I see people who are trying to do this and like bevel like that, but see where my blade is? 
So that all that hair underneath that blade doesn't get cut. So you have to use a nice pointy scissor that's a little bit thinner for finishing with a pretty severe curve. And then always point towards the bone. I'm pointing right towards the bone of the dog. So now you have a nice bevel up top. Once I've gotten that shape, then you can kind of stress as much as you want to stress. You know, do you want to take 30 minutes for a bracelet or do you want to take five minutes for a bracelet? Well, I guess that depends on how much the client's paying you. But once you have the bevels on top and the bevels on bottom, it's just connecting the dots. So you can just work around your, your bracelet connecting those dots. Now again, this dog was groomed three weeks ago, but it's a regular client. Come in every three weeks, this is what I would do to her. And if it had a ton of hair, I would use the same steps. So, band the ears out of the way. And don't leave yourself a toilet paper roll, okay? If you not, don't have much more time for finish work, you always take a curved chunker, you have the basic shape, and just take off anything that doesn't make sense. And wipe right over your dog. I call it wipe them. You just wipe them off. Okay? And scene. <laughs>